Welcome back to Math with Micah. This is Micah, of course, and today we are going to be looking at another hydrostatic force problem. This time we're looking at a triangle that's being submerged underwater at a depth of six meters. And just like in the previous video, we're going to be using the same force equation where we have rho and g as our two constants, and then we have our length and our height functions being multiplied. And again, in this case, rho it's going to be the weight density of water, which is going to be measured at 1,000 kilograms per meters cubed. And G, of course, is gravity, which is going to be 9.8 meters per second squared. So let's figure out where the heck um, our length and height comes into for this problem. So we know that we have rho and G. We'll stick those guys out front, and we'll forget about them. So if we set our bounds of our integral from 0 to 2, that means I'm starting, my depth we're talking about is from here to here, so two meters total. That would give us our height equation to be six plus y, because we have to take into account our initial six meters, and then we're just gonna be adding on from zero to two. So we're adding on two more meters, and that will give us our total depth that we reach of eight meters. Now, to figure out our L of y, our length equation here, at any given point in this triangle, that's going to be a little bit more tricky. And how I like to think of this as, for my length equation of y, I'm going to create a proportion in order to find this equation. And what I'm going to say is that I know my length of y. At any given point y, I'm going to try to figure out what the corresponding pieces and parts are. So if I have L of y here, and I'm changing in the y direction, that means that my greatest point I am at, my greatest length, is going to be 6 meters. And this is going to be a change in the y direction of 2 meters total. Now, if I do a little bit of cross multiplying, we get L of y is equal to 3 times y, where I just cross multiply my y over here. And my 6 over 2 simplifies as 3. So now it looks like we are all set to do this integral and find the force that's being exerted on this triangular plate. So let's plug in everything that we know. We said L of y is going to be 3y and h of y is 6 plus y. And now, in order to find this um, integral and find this force, let's go ahead and plug in our constants. So I'm going to plug in 1,000 kilograms per meters cubed and 9.8 meters per second squared. And now when I do this integral, I can simply distribute my 3y to my 6 and my y, giving me an 18y plus 3y squared. That integral is not too bad, and when we work it out, we get the number of 44. And when I want to round this to a whole number, the force I end up getting, and this will be in terms of newtons, is going to be 431,200 newtons. And this here would be my final answer. As always, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below or feel free to email me at mathwithmica at gmail.com to submit any questions you might have over homework or concepts that you'd love to see on this channel. As always, thank you for visiting. All right, peace.